Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting. And what I'm going to be doing today is, as you can see, I've got this big box here that's corrugated paper. And I need something to store my 12 inch by 12 inch card paper and card stock in. And I was looking online and there's no way I am paying out £75 for something that I think I can make out of cardboard just as easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some 13 by 13 squares out of this so they're nice and square and they are all exact same size and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it. I've cut the card up now and I've got six pieces so that will allow me to divide my colours up as well into six different colours which is what I need because I can never tell what colours things are and I can keep them safe. Now this card is quite rigid even though it's corrugated card but it's double corrugated card but to make it even more rigid I am going to cover it in paper and glue so paper mache just to give it that extra rigidity and to cover up these edges as well. I've already got my strips all cut off and that isn't going to take me too long to cover this up. I'm just using a mixture of white glue and a bit of water which I will dab on like this. I'm not going to take the tape off because it will stick on that tape anyway and that will extra give it that extra support. Pop on the paper and then fold it round and I shall do both sides of each piece of card which will give it that extra strength and neater finish that I'm looking for. I've finished making all these now and I've got quite quite a few. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And some of them I've done so that they're double thickness and that way they are going to be a little bit more secure. And these ones are gonna go on the tops and at the bottom. And I've also labeled them so I know which is the back and I know which is the front of all of them. Now I just need to put them together. And how I'm going to put them together is I'm going to make two sides that stick here and I'm just going to make those out of cardboard and then I will glue it all together. What I've done is I've glued two longer sheets together and left this ridge at the bottom because I want to make sure that these pieces of board fit in really nicely and I'm just marking up where I want them to go because if not, I know what I'll do. I'll put them in the wrong position both sides. And using my hot glue gun here to fasten these down with. As you can see here, I'm just pushing these bits together. I could have done something with the board keep flopping over. I could have done with another pair of hands. But once it's actually dry and this glue gun and the hot glue doesn't take too long to dry, I'm just popping a bit of extra in here. And I've also cut these little slats out and I'm gluing these down along the side as you can see but what I realized was they weren't actually thick enough so I just went along cut a load more slats again and then doubled them up I'd just like to say a quick thank you to everyone that bought me a coffee as you saw their names are on the coffee board if you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for any of my videos then the link for that is in the description below. I'm looking to buy a snap maker, which will open up so many projects for this. So I'm opening the, so I'm putting these down now where they need to go and doubling these up and you'll see why in a little while. And just for everybody's information, I've also now got links available for all the products I use in the description for the USA, the UK, Canada and Australia. So here we go, as you can see, I've put this together, fits up nicely, and all these are removable, but it does bit a bit wobbly and woggly like this. So what I'm doing is I'm going round, and all I've done here is cut off the corners of those cardboard envelopes that you get from Amazon, and I'm putting these on the front, and that just is really aesthetically. I could have painted this whole thing, but decided against it, as you'll see in the end. But these just cover up all the corrugated paper, and just make it look a little bit nicer. And again, I'm just using my hot glue gun to do this. And now what I'm also doing is I'm gluing all the shelves in because I'm not gonna move them because what they are resting on is fixed there. So this will also help give it some rigidity. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please hit that like button as well if you've enjoyed this, res this video because it really does help my channel to get out there. Really do appreciate it, thank you. So pulling those forward so that I can push them down 
and I'm also putting some strips down the back of this as well and that then makes it completely rigid and it's not going anywhere. So here we go, it's all finished. I've got my card in there. It's now a lot fuller than this. All labelled up as well. I'm really pleased with it. It's out of the way, it's kept flat and I know exactly which colours I want to use.